What's going on guys, Colin here from High Caliper Growing and it is Friday afternoon so I'm going to go ahead and transplant a few of my rooted cuttings that have been in this propagation tray just about three weeks now um, and we're just going to plant the citronella and hatch pepper clones that we have rooted. The citronella was really slow to root. I've had trouble with rooting this stuff in the past. Um, sometimes it'll have a tendency to kind of turn brown on that stem and die before it has a chance to sprout roots. But uh, by controlling my humidity really well this time in my propagation dome, I was able to successfully get uh, both my variegated citronella and my regular citronella to all take root. And then I also have uh, some hatch peppers in here that were given to me from a friend from Organics OKC. And uh, I cloned it because I had a really bad bad pest problem. Um, aphids, both aphids and spider mites were kind of eating my pepper plant alive. So I quick took some clones, washed them really good, and I've kept them pest free. So at least I'll have the genetics of the plant for the following season. So anyways, I'm gonna get these all planted up into my one gallon Smart Pot transplanters. Uh, I love these um, for rooted cuttings just because then you can really blow out your root system um, and just really establish your plant, your plant really well um, in these one gallon containers before you put them into their final home. Go ahead and plant a few of these guys. Just like so. And I'm gonna plant all of these and then I'll go ahead and water in really thoroughly after and go ahead and put them underneath my uh, lights in my tent. And I'll just leave them in there for a few more weeks and hopefully this weather will start to warm up for us so I can start growing some things outside and working on some of our outdoor projects. All right, so there's one. Now here is one of our hatch peppers and I've cloned, it looks like I have two clones in here and then I have a few uh, that I cloned at home as well. Uh, this hatch pepper is a really good pepper, uh, green chili pepper is what it is. Now I've probably used these transplanters some five or ten times, I just kind of keep reusing them. Uh, if I don't have any issue with disease or anything, my plants look nice and healthy, no pest issues, then I'll just reuse the pot without washing it. Um, but you can sterilize them with, uh, you know, a vinegar or even uh, throw them in your washing machine. Uh, just be sure not to dry them. And uh, I'll show you, uh, I'll do a video on uh, washing your smart pots. Uh, so I can kind of show you the different ways that it can be done. But that should do it for this guy. All right, well, I'm gonna get the rest of these planted up, but uh, be sure to check back in. I'll keep you updated on how they're doing, and then I'll show you when I pull them out of these transplanters and into their final container, um, show you how we do that as well. But uh, check out our website, check out all our social media. Um, our website has now been updated, and we have uh, blogs as well, so that's a really cool thing that we're really excited about. Some great information there. Uh, check us out at www.smartpots.com and also uh, www.bigbagbed.com. See you guys later.